the stroke volume must be equal on both sides of the heart. This means that the ventricular output from the right side must be equal to the ventricular output from the left side. Usually stroke volume in a normal situation is 70 milliliters. So it has to be equal on both sides. If it is not equal, then the result is edema or fluid accumulation. So we need to remember this stroke volume cannot be unequal. So here's an example of what happens when the right side is pumping more than the left. The right side is shown by the solid arrow and the left side is shown by the dotted arrow. If the stroke volume on the right side of the heart is greater than stroke volume on the left, then the blood that's being pumped to the lungs from the right side is much more and so fluid accumulates in the lungs causing pulmonary edema. The cause for this might be that the left side of the heart is damaged. So there you see the pink cross there shows you the damaged left side. The opposite is true for systemic edema. So let's see when the left side pumps more than the right side then the result is systemic edema. Remember the left side is pumping to the body so the edema ends up in the body. So if the stroke volume on the left side is greater than the stroke volume on the right, the result is fluid accumulation in the body, otherwise known as systemic edema. Now in this case, because the left is pumping more, the problem probably arose on the right side. So there was probably a damage on the right side of the heart. Let's imagine that you are treating a patient who has recently suffered a heart attack and now has pulmonary edema. So let's see how a heart attack can lead to pulmonary edema based on what you've just learned. So here's the heart attack, which is the real cause of the pulmonary edema. The heart attack may have affected the left side of the heart, so the left side is damaged, so damage to the left ventricle, which would lead to the right ventricular output being greater than the left ventricular output. So essentially we have unequal stroke volume. When the right ventricular output is greater than the left ventricular output, fluid accumulates in the lungs which is basically pulmonary edema. Now let's imagine you have another patient and this patient also has suffered a heart attack, but this patient has systemic edema as a result of this. Let's take a look at how a heart attack can lead to systemic edema. So here we have it, heart attack. So the damage would be on the right side, damage to the right ventricle, leading to left ventricular output being greater than right ventricular output, essentially unequal stroke volume with the left side pumping more. That would lead to fluid accumulation in the body because the left side is pumping to the body. Another word for that is systemic edema.